Hello everybody and welcome to my playthrough of uh, Sonic CD. <clears throat> Earlier today we got some uh, new information on uh, Sonic Mania which was pretty exciting. They showed off the uh, animated cutscenes and stuff which uh, this game to my knowledge I'm pretty sure yeah is the first game to have the uh, the old Sonic uh, Oh man, look at all these. I just, I hope Sonic Mania has settings like these, like Christian Whitehead does such a good job with. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, Sonic CD was the first game to have those animated cutscenes, I'm pretty sure, so uh, I saw that and I got really excited and I felt like uh, I was in the mood to play some Sonic CD. It was, uh, it was the choice of a Sonic game and I was like, hey man, this one looked good. Plus they showed that one stage, um... Uh, the green the green one that's like in space or whatever I can't think of the name of it it's in this game it's later and I think it's in this one. Oh shoot maybe I, I forgot I'll have to look into that I can't remember you guys will probably know but uh, yeah so I decided I wanted to play Sonic CD which uh, oh man every time I watch this animated thing it's like I want to skip to just start playing the game but this is just so fun to look at and I love the song like both the Japanese version and the English song they're both really good. Uh, I hear a lot of people who prefer the Japanese soundtrack um, uh, a long time ago. This was like, <clears throat> I used to, I started hearing about that, and I was like, really? Because the American one's so good, how could the Japanese one be better? And it's like, yeah, it's it's very good. They're um, very good soundtracks, and oh, it's just, it's so nice to look at. And it looks like this style of animation is going to be in Sonic Mania, which is awesome, because... Um, in Sonic Mania, I'm, I'm hoping they're kind of like cutscenes. Like, this game only had two, if I recall. Um, there's one at the beginning here, and there's one at the end of the game when you beat it. So I'm hoping that Sonic Mania has some extra ones maybe thrown into the stages and stuff, but... Oh, man. There's not really a Sonic game that looks like this, although I guess there is, like... They have, like, those fan games, what, Sonic Utopia? And stuff like that now, so... I guess those ones kind of do so. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to, um... I'm gonna try my best to get the Chaos Emeralds. It's pretty difficult, uh, to get all of them in one run without, like, having to... Oops! Without having to use, like, saves and stuff, so... I don't know, we'll see about that, but... Um, on my last playthrough, I got to six. And I got to the last uh, level, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And I, I fucked it up because I couldn't get, I couldn't get it because it was the final boss, and then you can't get Chaos Emeralds, you know, on the boss stages. So, um, I'm also probably not really gonna attempt to uh, find all the like time things. Like that just takes too much time. And I honestly, I don't know this game well enough to know where they're all at by heart. Um, there's some good YouTube videos that people have made that show all of them, but. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, basically, like, you can kill all of the enemies on the stage, uh, usually by going back in time and destroying, like, the enemy capsule. And the capsule, um, oh, there's Amy, first appearance. <laughs> I actually like that classic look for her, too. Um, anyways. Well, I didn't do a very good job getting those Chaos Emeralds in the first level, huh? But... Um, yeah, like, you can, like, go back in time and, like, destroy these, uh, capsules, and it's, when you go back to the future, it stops the enemies from, uh, being there, and I think, uh, there's actually an achievement, because this is the Xbox version, for doing that in every stage, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, like, I don't, I'd have to, like, I'd have to look up a guide or play the shit out of this game to do that, and I love this game, but, uh, that would take a long time to do, so, this Sonic game had a little bit more depth in that matter and I don't know if they're they're probably not going to use any of the time stuff in Sonic Mania I can't imagine um I mean the I just the story what little story there might be doesn't really seem to uh have that in it that quality of like time travel so um I do like the um the sound effects to this one too like um Sonic and oh there it is there's the thing so like if I destroy this or maybe maybe not okay I th I th I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it some people probably know better than I do but um, maybe I have to like go back to the past and then go up to that spot and destroy it I don't know I can't remember but it's been a while since I played this I just decided to pop this in today and 
Um, but yeah, this is the Xbox port, so they have like an achievement for destroying all of those in every stage, I think is what it was. There's two achievements. One's for doing that, and then there's another for... Because there's like a good future, like in right here where it says Sonic got through zone 2. Um, if you destroy those, it'll say like Sonic created a good future or something like that. And uh, Alright, I think this is the boss stage now. It looks like shit. The first fucking level looks so gorgeous. And then you get here and it's like, oh, this looks like ass. <laughs> I'm always so used to the, uh, which is one of the, one of the, uh, many Sonic, uh, I guess, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, one of the things that every Sonic game has in it that, uh, I enjoy, like the cliches, one of the many Sonic cliches that I enjoy is, um, that the first level of every game looks so beautiful. Um, there's a couple games that, like, changed it up a little, like, um, Sonic uh, Adventure has Emerald Coast, so it's like on a beach, so it's not like in a, a big grassy area, but it still just looks gorgeous. Like, Emerald uh, Emerald Coast is one of my favorite Sonic stages ever. I used to do uh, speed trials on that stage on the 360 version of Sonic Adventure, and uh, I ended up getting in like the top, I don't know, like 500 or some people, because I, I did it for so long, but... Um, the reason I could never like get to like even higher than that is because there was a couple glitches like in order to do those speed trials You have to be really good at those glitches Well fuck all right. I fucked that one <laughs> Why do they put that there right at the beginning of the level? That's like fucking oh Shit wow. All right. Well, that was stupid my bad. Oh Wait, I have to like wait for metal. So oh, that's what it is. Okay. Because I was just going too fast. It, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, when you do those speed trials, any anybody who does speed runs will know that you have to, like, know, like, a lot of glitches and stuff in order to um, be really good at them. And I knew some of the, the, the little exploits for Emerald Coast, but I could not accomplish all of them. So, oh, here we go to the future. Oh, that's so trippy. <laughs> it's so cool to look at, though. I'm a sucker for, like, flashing lights and things like that. Like, I bought a lava lamp recently, and I can just stare at that thing all day. Like, oh, shit. All right, here we go. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Oh, come on. <sighs> Motherfucker. I apologize. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, trying to concentrate here. Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm like jumping in mid-air when I hit that fucking... Okay, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't as hard as it looked. I just... I I was fucking it up pretty bad. I apologize. Oh, 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 oh. Why is everything in this one bouncy? Oh. So many... Oh. I'm trying to... Oh, oh, God. I remember that one stage in this game that's so fucking crazy, like, uh, it's some kind of, like, highway, I, I can't remember, but it's near the end of the game, and, uh, that one's, like, fucking nuts, like, you're doing, you're, you're basically in, hang on, I'll show in a minute here, like, oh, 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 oh here, like, these little sections right here, where you, like, do the spin dash down or whatever, like, you're in that part, and it's just like you f you bounce all over the fucking place and you have to like kind of control where you go it's one of the more interesting stages in the game and it, it was in mostly interesting because they hadn't done that in a sonic game where like a lot of the stage was just that um i think this was the first one to like do that but this was kind of the first one to do try a lot of different things with sonic i i would say that um in terms of style and and stuff like um and and just trying to get that old feel of sonic i feel like sonic cd was the best of the original like one two three knuckles and this one but um 
I don't know. I man, I do like the environments in Sonic Three. I thought the graphics looked a little more interesting. I don't know. That's a tough. Deciding between the first five Sonic games is so fucking difficult for me. But oh, anyways, uh, I gotta end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, next time we'll start uh, this fucking zone. I don't remember the name of it honestly. So thank you.